Ah, hello. Ah, hello, hello, hello. There you are. It's me, Scotty McClue. We are, of course, live just for you on the big one. A very, very good evening to you. It is Sunday the 6th of November 2016. Sunday the 6th of November 2016, and it's 10 o'clock sharp. I'm Scotty McClue, and I'm with you live for one hour here on Facebook with our Sunday night broadcast. Now, what we're doing tonight, lots of shout-outs for you. And, of course, also in addition to that, we'll have a discussion because we can take calls on Skype. So I'm looking forward to taking your calls on Skype. My Skype handle is scotty.mcclue. So scotty.mcclue, get yourselves on there and we can take your calls live on Skype. Paul Anthony's watching. Jim McIntyre says hello, Scotty. Scotty says Andy Taylor. Uh, John Cochran says good evening, Scotty. David Jimison's watching. Hello, Tommy. This is Jim. Angela says, good evening, pal. I hope you are well. Good evening, Scotty Dinky-Doo from Stuart Walker. Tommy O'Pray is watching. Good evening, says Tommy. He says, good evening to Jim McIntyre. Helen Wallace is watching. Paul Early in Lytham St. Anne's. You're looking well, Scotty. Thanks, Paul. I feel extremely well. And it's lovely to be broadcasting to the world live on Facebook Live. This is the big one, and it's all happening. James Logan's watching. Fantastic stuff. Hi, Scotty, says Davy Kip Heron. Hello to you, Davy Kip Heron. Good evening, Scotty, from sunny Stornoway, from Stornovach. Ah, yes. Hello to you. Good evening. Kamra hao eh? Julianne Scott's watching. Good evening, Scotty. Hope you're well, says Craig Gordon. Is that a new bonnet, Scotty? Yes. I thought I'd treat myself because the nation deserves the best. Good evening, Scotty, says Joanne Mingus on Menzies. Uh, Noswith Cheese, Scotty, from Luke Jones. Ah, yes, indeed. Uh, Scotty, do you know Hillary is live at the same time? I think the audience for Scotty McClue will probably far outstrip the audience for Hillary um, at the moment. So there you are. Top of the morning from Perth, Australia. Dinky do, says Remo. Hello to you, Remo. Uh, Giuseppe Bacchetti and two others have shared the video. Uh, let them know that you appreciate it. Yes, of course I appreciate it. Now, guys, just a word about that. Hi, Scotty, says David Robert Miller. Could have a shout out also to Bobby Gracie. Bobby Gracie there, a great businessman, a fantastic guy. Good evening, Scotty. Lovely day. Just a bit cold, of course. Every day is a lovely day. The weather might not be great. But every day is a lovely day, folks. Chris Mackerson's there. Good evening, Scotty. Hope you're well, sir. Hope you're well, sir. Dinky do to you. Uh, say hi to Gillian Curran, Scotty. Of course, Gillian. Dinky do. Scotty for president, says John Cochran. Well, can I tell you, we did a Twitter poll, and Scotty McClue polled 74% for the president of the United States of America. So they are <laughs> for POTUS. Good evening, Scotty. Great to hear you, Dinky Do. I hope you're well. My granny is better, and we're listening while we eat macaroni cheese, says Tess in Wales. Let's build a wall, says Michael McGuigan. What, any wall at all, Michael? Mary Carty, hi, Scotty. It's Mary from Coat Bridge. Hello, Mary. Uh, hope nobody's smoking, says John O'Rourke. Quite right, because we cut people off for smoking. Gordon Allen says he's back. Good, Gordon. Well done, Mary Ballantyne's watching. A very good evening to you, Mary. Now, we have a lot to talk about tonight. Your Welsh pronunciation's quite good, Scotty. Yes, yucky da. I hope, um, who have we got? Lawrence is watching, and Issa says a shout-out uh, from Issa there. John O'Rourke. Uh, a Y from him, excellent. Hello, Scotty from Swansea, from Ashley Smedley down in Swansea in the Welsh Valleys. How are the tenors in Dowlas, I ask you? Uh, so, lots and lots to talk about. Dinky do, Mr. McClure, says Kenny McLean. Now, folks, can you, <coughs> pardon me, can you spread the word about this program right now? Do it while we're live. <coughs> oh, dear, now see what you've done. I have to have a sip of tea. John Cochran says, let's discuss the heave hole. Frank de Paulette's there. What's on the badge, Scotty? The Scotty McClue badge. I'll let you see it. You'll probably see it another way around because you're looking at it. But it says, Scotty McClue, dinky do. There you are. Craigie McLean's watching. Hello, Craigie. Dinky do to you. Uh, dinky do, Scotty. It's getting nippy out, says Lou, Lee Buckinshaw. 
Uh, Jadal says, Evening, Scotty from Brotty Ferry. How marvellous is that? Hi, Scotty from Stirling in Scotland there. Hello from Glasgow. Great to see you again. A shout out to Taylor. He's my pumpkin, says Bob. Right, uh, Yusuf uh, says, Scotty, a shout out. Uh, Dinky do, Scotty from Brian and Kieran in Wishaw in Scotland. Dinky do to you. Charles says, I'm a bit drunk, Scotty, but I'm here and you're looking well. I've shared the do, says James, David James Payton. David James, thank you very much for that. Esther Hart says, shared hi from Larky, Lark Hall there. Uh, I've tweeted from my Bullseye Twitter account, two and a half thousand followers about the show, says John Cochran. John Cochran, that is fantastic. You deserve a medal. Who else has we got? Yes, I've shared and shared, says Andrew Hiddleston. And could I get a badge too, please, says Lee. Where do we get a badge? You can charge for them. Scotty, I'll tell 10 to tell 10. Hi from Uddingston. This badge is quite funny because uh, we were at a charity auction once and this woman said to me, what do you know about a fool of yourself? I said, I think I'll put the badges in for auction. Do you know what they went for? £600 each. How's that? <laughs> Hello from East School Bride. Dinky Doo says James Barr. Dinky Doo to you, James. Love to hear from you. Leslie Cavanaugh. Well, I used to listen to you all the time on radio. Happy days. Nice to see you. Kiss, kiss. Can we um, say get well to Papa Bill, please, in Wisher Hospital? No beds in here, Miles, where he lives a distance. I've shared this live for you, says Ashley Smedley. Thanks for that. Frank de Palette says, Scotty, may we talk Trump? What sort of president do you think he would make? Well, he may well make an excellent president. This is what we don't know. Bob says a shout out to uh, Chelsea at Craig Tara. Hello to the Davidsons of Thogwatts up in Elgin there, says Alistair. Hello, Alistair. Dinky do. I love Elgin. Uh, if you bought them, lol, says Gordon. Scotty, you're the man from Barhead, says Robert Kincaid. Elizabeth Coyle, hi, Gary. John Cochrane, I've still got the video of the show that you did, 1996. We sold 35,000 of them. I'll give you 10p in a pot pie, says Lee Buckinshaw. That sounds like a bargain, Lee. Christopher says, say hi to Elizabeth Walker. A shout out to Blake. £600? Whew! You can stick them. We'll not go on with that. Um, never any beds in here, Mars. I'm not charging £600. That's what they went for at a public charity auction. You're not listening. People so often don't listen. Sandy Harden says, Scotty, is this this week's show? Of course it is, Sandy. What did you think it was? Scott Smith. Um, I've shared also on Facebook, Scotty Dinkadoo, says Craig Gordon. Yes, a shout out, says Sufyan. Sufyan, a big shout out, no problem at all. Now, uh, lots going on, folks. I have to tell you what we need to do to make this work for all of us, because this program is massive. Trust me, it is absolutely huge. The combined figures are about um, coming up for 40,000, okay? The combined figures since we started the show. Now, if we get this up to 30, 40,000 a program, then we're starting to motor. We become a serious player in the uh, social media industry. So can I suggest, right? I had a cheeky person on saying, why is it you're doing this? Or you're just doing this. I thought, no, don't be so silly. This is a massive experiment. That's like saying to Marconi, are you just playing with all these wee radio valves and things like that? James Kiddles watching, think you do. Alistair Dorwood, all right, Mr. McClue. There's Alistair Laurie Haig, a shout out, please. Of course, Laurie. Dab, says Ross Cullen. Well, I will later. Hi, Scotty, a shout out to yes in East Ayrshire. Hello, East Ayrshire with yes. Good luck with everything. Joe Hickey is watching. A shout out to Sarah Dawson. A shout out to, um, who have we got here? Oh, yes. What are you going to do, says Yusuf to John. Uh, listening to Scotty McClure, and we're watching. Here's somebody Skyping. We will see if we can get them on the Skype. Hello, Aidan. Dinky do. Can you hear me live on Skype? Hello, Aidan. Scotty. Hello, Aidan. How are you, La? I'm good, how are you? It's good. I'm better for hearing you. I think this is fabulous. You're Skyping. 
Yeah, uh, can live stream you as well, Everybody can hear yeah. you. Hey, Scotty, could you sing happy birthday to Celtic, please, since it's their 129th birthday? Happy birthday to Celtic. Right, here we go. Are you ready? Happy yeah. birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Celtic. Happy birthday to you. Hip hip. Hey. Hip hip. Hey. Hip hip. Hey. Dinky doo. Dinky doo to you, Scotty, as well. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. That's all there's to it, folks. That's what Calling Into Scotty McClue's show is about. We're live on Skype right now as we speak. And Skype, uh, Scotty.McClue is the handle. Okay? Watch your Skype, Scotty, says Joshua. I've just said it, Joshua. Scotty.McClue. John Cummings says you're some boy. Good evening, Aidan, says Tommy of Prey. David Hammond's watching, a very fine broadcaster there. Hello, David, dinky-doo. And um, what's happened to the China deal, Scotty, says Sandy Howden. Well, we don't know, Sandy. There's a lot of things going on with China at the moment. A lot of deals there. Scotty McClue's been invited to go to China to broadcast and uh, to set up phone-ins for them. So that's rather good. Hello from Australia, says Erica. Uh, who have we got? Hi from Kilburnie, from David McGregor. Happy birthday, Celtic. Happy birthday to you, says Elizabeth Coyle. Is there not more going on in the world than football, says Gordon Allen? Yes, there is, Gordon. I think we can manage a wee happy birthday to Celtic, you know. Uh, it's uh, on the new Facebook. I've caught Hillary at it again. Scotty, when will they listen to you? I see a shout out for Sylvia and Charlie. Uh, thanks, Scotty. Cheers. Um, who else have we got? Evening, sir. Dinky-doo, says David Hammond. Yes, evening, sir. Dinky-doo to you, I say, David. Of great, great broadcaster. You want to hear his shows. Uh, a shout-out to me, says Chris Young. Absolutely, Jen Perry. Um, uh, evening, Scotty. Okay, fair enough, says Gordon Allen. Can you speak Cantonese on Mandarin then, Scotty? Well, I would say to you, um, Han Hao. And then I might say, Ni hao. There's a little bit of Mandarin for you, okay? Shout out to Issa Blake. Where can I get myself some haggis in West Yorkshire? Oh, the butchers will have some haggis for you. Tell them Scotty McClue sent you. I remember opening Burry Market uh, one day and um, we had black pudding. And a dear old lady who was, I think, 86, had got up at five o'clock in the morning and got five different buses to come to Bury Market, just outside Manchester, to say hi to Scotty McClue. That's what it's about, folks. A shout out and a happy birthday to Gary Hogg. Richard McIntosh is watching. Excellent. Luke Jones uh, has just shared the video along with 24 others. Guys, keep sharing, 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 sharing the whole night because this is for us all. Gone are the days when the show was Scotty McClue and you. It's us now, right? And we're live on Facebook on a Sunday night, 2200 hours. But you must do your part. Share, 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 share everything. Christopher Young says, Dab, I'll dab for you, Christopher. There we go, a bit of dabbing for you. Uh, Gary Dodd says, hello, Scotty. A shout out to Bleaky, says Sufjan. No problem, Bleaky. Scotty pre for president. Um, how's the Labrador, Scotty, says Andy Taylor. The Labrador is wonderful. Lord Clyde, he is 10 years old. Um, Alistair Davidson shared fantastic stuff. Evening, Scotty. How are you, says David Steele. Evening, my lot. Here's Yusuf calling. We'll hear what he's saying. Hello, Yusuf Dinky Doo. You're live on Scotty McClure. Uh, Scotty, can you shout out Sarah Dawson? Sarah Dawson, I can, Yusuf, and Dinky Doo, la. See you later, mate. Dinky, Dinky Doo. Dinky Doo. Dinky Doo. Okay, there we go. Absolutely excellent. Just shared in Bella Caledonia, says Luke Jones. Evening, Scotty. I'm loving it. Gary Cross and Scotty, where's the dog? Give him a wee clap for me. He's just down here. Who have we got here? Here's John Bishop. Hello, John Bishop. Good evening. Know that. I mean, you're just a big bag of wind. A big bag of wind? Big bag of wind. In fact, My in fact, you're just a fart. Oh, dear. You're a fart. I you're think you owe me an apology, Katie. No, absolutely. She owes an apology to Scotty McLean. 
That's quite right, too. So there we are. Uh, there's somebody calling us in. Good evening from Arizona, says Heather Fox. Can you speak to the recent ruling re-Brexit? Yes. Is it a good thing or a bad thing? Feel free to Skype in, folks. Scotty dot McClue on Skype. But remember the dot, of course. Hang on. I'll just uh, contact requests here. I'll just take these. Excellent. Right, you're listening to Scotty McClure. We're live on Facebook Live. Share, 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 share. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClure just for you, dinky do. Live on Facebook Live at 10. Who else have we got? Um, Aha, ha, says Yusuf. No way, John, says Dylan Taylor. And Spit Some Bars, sir, says Emin. <laughs> la, 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 da, 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 da. Right, Dinky Doo, Accordion News, says David. Oh, I forgot the accordion this week. Can I get a shout out, says Blair. Andy Taylor says, ha, ha, Scotty, what are your thoughts on Bernie Sanders? I think he's very, very good. I like the guy. Hope I get a Wi-Fi signal in the Caribbean next Sunday, says Gordon Allen. He's off to the Caribbean. Have a lovely time, Gordon. And remember to factor yourself. Factor yourself. Um, you have a snot or thing at your nose. No, I don't think I do, Brian. I'm sorry about that, but I'm not falling for that one. Scotty, are you going to tell um, James? Uh, Scotty. The fire brigade are getting attacked in Scotland when they were out for Guy Fox night. A fire tender was bricked on Drossen. Well, I'd like to talk about fireworks tonight. <coughs> Pardon me there, folks. Another sip of tea required. I have just a small mug of tea here. Mm. Right, here's Rima calling from Australia. Ah, dinky do, Remo. You're live on Scotty McClue. How are you? Thank you, do, Scotty. I'm well. How are you? I'm fantastic, Raymond. This is a great setup, isn't it? Oh, it's brilliant. Um, <laughs> yeah, I like I said, like I said to you last week, I'm sitting here in Perth, Australia, listening to you live, watching you live on Facebook. So it's truly global now, Scotty. You it, finally did it. It's fabulous. We've gone global, and you know, I had a guy trying to belittle me this morning. Said you used to be so big, and and I thought, no, it didn't used to be so big at all. We are big. It's just he's not social media up, you know. He's exactly. tuning through his radio. He's looking for Scotty McClure. He can't hear it because we're on here. Yeah, you're on here, and you're live to the world now. Whereas before, maybe you were only live to a small section. Now you can. The, the 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 possibilities are endless now. Yes, I'm glad you spot it, Rimmel, because I was thinking to myself, do you know, I can't see any way that this couldn't just completely outstrip all of radio and television. Absolutely, it's the future. Social mm. media is, is, you run a business, you advertise on social media. Yeah. You want to be a big broadcaster? It's all about social media social now. Social media. And I don't know if you've seen it, Rimmel, but I recorded a short video during the week purely for attention for business people because I want to do things for them now. Do you know what I mean? I want to do all the things that I couldn't do when I was actually live broadcasting on television and radio. I want to do voiceovers for their Christmas adverts. I'll appear in them. Uh, we had such a laugh this week. The latest craze is getting Scotty McClure clue to do your ringtone so for something like 50 quid people are coming up to me and say go on scotty i'll give you 50 quid if you do it so i'm doing when their phone rings dinky do it's scotty mcclue could somebody get that phone and <laughs> um, it seems to be very very popular it's incredible you know there's, yeah. there's cues to do it and the other one is making a phone call to people's missus and telling her to do the high dusting and make her man's tea <laughs> Ah, that's that's the one. I'd pay you fifty quid for that. Yeah, but I mean, it's incredible. You know, it's the it's the many a muckle max a muckle, and um, also I have forty years experience, serious experience of massive, massive businesses. You know, millions of pounds worth, and um, you know, I can do people's public relations. I can do their marketing for them. I can do their crisis management. So if they're shy about appearing on the telly. I'll uh, appear on the telly for them, you know, and it's it's serious stuff. It's big, big business. That's it, Scotty, and uh, you can't have too many strings to your bow. You can never have too many strings to your bow, remember. I mean, you look at you. When you went to Australia, people were going, oh, well, are you sure? And all that stuff. And uh, the answer is yes, I'm sure. Let's do it. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean... 
<laughs> when I came over here, people were like, yeah, yeah, you'll be back in six months. Well, I'm here five years. I'm actually coming back to Scotland in two weeks for a wee holiday. Fantastic. I think I'll head for Australia at some point as well, because they could do with building up a big talk show, or we build it up right here on Facebook, and we don't have to travel. Yeah, but you know what? You know, coming over here, doing a wee tour of Australia, you know, we could do with your pals of wisdom over here. Yes, get all that stuff. Well, I was saying, before you had a search engine, it all had to come off the top of the head, Remo. <laughs> well, exactly, I. You know? Fantastic. So there we go. Anyway, my dear fellow, thank you so much for that. I'd better press on, but it's great to hear from you. Keep your calls coming because we always love an update. Give us an update from Oz now and again. Will you do that for us? I oh, definitely will, Scotty. I'll speak to you next week. Tremendous. Thanks, Remo. Dinky do. Dinky do to you, mate. Dinky do to you, lot. Thank there you. we go. That's Remo calling in from Perth in West Australia. The River Swan or the Swan River. Thoughts on India Ref 2, says Christopher. Yeah, I mean, let's go for India Ref 2, but get it right this time. You know, I mean, Scotland could definitely stand on its own two feet. If you look at anybody that says that Scotland can't stand on its own economically, because I'm not a political animal. I never have been. Uh, you know, I'm not any great nationalist or anything like that, but I know that economically, Scotland can stand on its own two feet. Sorry, Scotty, I'm in the pub, um, says Denise. No problem, Denise. Don't worry about that. And uh, good evening, Scotty, says Teddy. George Mullen says, is this going to take much longer? What, are you talking about somebody calling in? For goodness sake, George. The man's phoning in from West Australia. Um, love it, says Peter Ewing. Fantastic. Denise Carroll's watching now. And who have we got? Ban the fireworks and uh, get the accordion. You keep forgetting. I'll maybe nip and get the accordion at some point. Good evening, says Mark. Good evening. No problem at all. Superb hearing the guy from Oz. It's a great show, says James Bower. Now, guys, it's up to you and I. So you have to play your part. There's no sitting back going, oh, so much stuff. I'm not sharing that. Share, 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 share. I do apologize by a make no apologies, if that makes any sense, for all the sharing during the week because I want to get you guys into the habit of telling 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClue just for you on Facebook Live at 10 Sunday nights, 10 o'clock sharp, 2200 hours. Greenwich Mean Time. A shout out says Cope Cairns O'Rook. Absolutely, I'm listening in Tasmania, Australia, says Erica. Yusuf's calling. Yes, Yusuf, what do you want now, Lar? Oh, yes. Do you know this song? It's a good song. No, you can't put a song on, La. Right, uh, I'm not sharing because um, you patch me, says Clark. <laughs> Brilliant, Scotty. Bring it on. Indy Ref 2, says Wendy McDonald. Yusuf, I shan't be talking to you, lad. <clears throat> uh, Robert says, McClure Revolution marching on. Absolutely. Hello, Scotty, says Eleanor McKinnon. Sandy Howden says, Scotty, I'm worried about the Hearts Football Club. I wouldn't worry about the Hearts Football Club. The only thing I'm annoyed at Hearts Football Club, some idiot um blocked me on their twitter uh instead of realizing that this is the biggest thing that could be happening Imagine it was a couple of years ago cut someone off says john cock and i've just done it john russell mckenzie says lol i've got you on the big telly via chromecast says george mcbean dinky do george social media at its very very finest scotty mcclue live just for you dinky do and uh, I'll drop you a cheeky sheriff, says Clark Marshall. <clears throat> no problem at all. And uh, who else have we got? Scotty, what are your thoughts on fireworks? I think we should ban the fireworks because what people don't realise, well, we could go maybe official um, uh, places only. So an official fireworks set up, fine, you know, the council doing it or what have you. But does anyone realise, hi, handsome dinky-doo, says Trisha Freeman. Hi, Trisha. And uh, who else have we got? Nicola says, how do you call in? I missed last week's show. Nicola, you go on to Skype and you put Scotty.McClue in and you phone him live on Skype. Love watching you. We're live in New York, says Martin Trudell. Dinky-doo, Martin, you're live in New York. Andy Murray, fantastic stuff. Scotty, what do you think of the fireworks, says Ashley? I think we should ban fireworks from home because people don't realise pets are very, very frightened. Now, Lord Clyde 
is not gun shy is one of the bravest little labradors i've ever had or met um old lord reith was a bit gun shy he took off home when the fireworks started but this was in manchester where we were living at the time and it really was as if you were living uh, in uh, a war zone and when you're living right in a very very highly built up area can i get a shout out says blair cowan for colburn lauren of course you can scotty a wee shout out to everyone down at craig tara of course you can um gordon allen says i agree fireworks are class though says clark marshall they are class clark don't get me wrong but if people saw how frightened the dogs the cats the horses the donkeys the cattle all these creatures that we love and are close to our heart in this country i definitely think fireworks should be banned and my wains in some state with fright with them says angie thompson yes i agree with you angie scotty wish my sister-in-law joan menzies a big happy birthday happy birthday to you happy birthday to you john menzies <laughs> skype scotty says luke john's coming in here we go john coming you're live on scotty McClue, didn't you do no you can't play songs on here la uh blair Cairn says love you excellent no problem at all erica says scotty at what time can i tune into your show you're tuning into it now erica this is the show and you've got it live um it's quite funny people are amazing you put scotty mcclure live at 10 o'clock sharp and they go what time are you on scotty we're live on facebook live where is it you're live scotty so there we are so erica you're tuning in now wadge is watching dinky do wadge give us a skype if you'd like to talk about the fireworks i think that's very important also folks this week i have recorded um a video for business you'll see it on youtube you'll see it on facebook and um, you'll also see that we've got linkedin we've got twitter uh we've got google plus We've got YouTube, all these things. So start going there and visiting all of Scotty McClue's social media places. And share, 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 share everything. Don't take a wee cream puff and go, huh, no, sure not. Because it's in your interest to share, right? It's very much in your interest to share. How much media do you have for ordinary folk like you and I? You've got a lot of canned television. You've got several channels of canned television. You've got repeats. You've got massively long adverts. You've got um, jukebox radio from all the people in this country. Very little talk radio, right? What about companies that go bust and come back trying to use the same name? Well, they've obviously dropped them down and brought them back, George. Um, Hi, Scotty. How are you doing? Oh, thanks, says Denise Carroll. No problem at all, Denise. Uh, are you on every day says erica no erica we're just on on a sunday night at 10 o'clock sharp at the moment but if we get enough shares like um you know if we get there's about forty thousand people have watched all the broadcasts in the last few weeks now that's not too bad but if we can get that up to say half a million over a month or something like that so if we can get thousands and thousands watching then we're big big players in the social media field so what i would suggest is if all of you start sharing now do it right now and say uh, scotty mcclue's live on facebook though either way get yourself on scotty do you use botox because you look fresh no my dear fellow this is good scotch beef that's what causes all that um scotty have you stood um says for parliament i think he means um no i haven't stood for parliament although a lot of people would like me to stand for parliament because then we'd get the truth um who do you think should win for president well it's uh, we're kind of spoiled for choice not really to be quite honest with you but i think probably donald trump will be your man at the end of the day um david hemsley is watching down in lancashire there jarvis butler says a breath a breath of fresh genius thank you jarvis yes you can ask me any questions taylor says lauren <laughs> Christopher Anthony Smith's watching. A shout out to Amir, uh, says Clark, no problem at all. Organised fireworks displays only, says Trisha Freeman. Right, here's John. If you're playing music, John, you're going. Hello, John, Dinky you do? You're live on Scotty McClure. 
Enkidu. Enkidu. Hey, John, you, you can't you can't play music, John. No, you can't play it, John. Right? You need to take this on. You cannot play music. I will just cut you off. It's like if people are rude or swear or anything like that on social media, I cannot stand it. So I just block them. So you will get blocked. Um, okay, so don't be silly about it. Uh, Christopher says he's an SNP man. Bring back Al Gore, says George. You should do a midweek show, Scotty. Have specific discussion points. I was interested in you mentioning the Highland Clearances last week, but you never got to elaborate all on it. Well, to me, the Highland Clearances were a tremendous social injustice. Scotland had a massive population. Sometimes you'll be travelling round Scotland and you'll see a little pile of stains at the side of the road. That was probably a village or a small town. Now, think about it. If you don't know your history, go back a few years, but also go back thousands and thousands of years. This video is slowing down, by the way, guys, because it's getting absolutely mobbed. Scotty, Sturgeon. Uh, no, I'm not calling her Sturgeon. Ms. Sturgeon or Nicola or the First Minister Sandy. You need to grow up and dump all this old lefty stuff. Your lot, your mob have been hunted out of Scotland, right? If Labour had supported independence for Scotland, they would now be the party. So there you are. Um, how can we call you, sir, says Christopher? You can Skype me, Christopher, at dot McClue on the Skype. Let's see if it's behind the voice live, says please. I'd love to be live with you. Right, can you think some have just shared the video? I hope you appreciate it. My goodness, do I not just, Robert. If every single one of you watching can share and tell the person you're sharing, or the people you're sharing to, to share, that's tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClue, live on Facebook Live, Dinky Doo, just for you on a Sunday night at 10. What are your thoughts on the SNP? Well, <clears throat> I've just been reading a wonderful book. And I would urge every single one of you to read this book. It's called The Flag in the Wind. It was reprinted in 2008 and it came out in the 1950s. And it's written by John McCormick, who was the father of Professor Neil McCormick, the late Professor Neil McCormick. And John was a Glasgow lawyer and a remarkable man. And uh, he had the Daily Express were massive, massive backers in those days because that was when you had um, uh, Beaverbrook, Max Beaverbrook owned the Daily Express and they were massive backers of uh, Home Rule for Scotland and Scottish nationalism. And of course, 1928, John McCormick was there. He was also the Lord Rector of Glasgow University in 1951. He was elected Lord Rector. I remember being uh, proposed as Lord Rector for Stirling University in Scotland. And the other two nominees were Ian Banks, the author, uh, Banksy, a lovely, lovely man, of course, and His Royal Highness Prince Edward and Scotty McClue. But um, there was some mix up with paperwork and we didn't actually get through on that one. But there we are. But Scotty McClue would make you a good Lord Rector. I can tell you that if any of the universities are interested. Listen to you years ago. Good to see you. Can you give a shout out to Jack Mackay? She's tagged me to let me know you're on, says Stephen Rice. Jarvis Butler, Scotty, is that a new bonnet? It is indeed, Jarvis. Dinky do new bonnet, I say. Happy new bonnet to me. Shake hands. Woo! Right, uh, you should interview some famous people I have done, Wedge. Get yourself on and you'll hear me talking to Bill McMurdo, the famous football agent, who, of course, was George Best's agent. He was my agent as well. And he was an agent for George Best, the footballer. You'll hear me talking on YouTube to... Um, Oh, stacks and stacks of famous people on there. So there you go. But get yourself on. David Heyman, the actor, is another one. A uh, very, very famous man. Lots of films. You would see him in The Boy with Striped Pajamas as the doctor, the um, old Jewish doctor that uh, helped out round the house. David Heyman, marvellous, marvellous actor. Um, done the lot. Great uh, television presenter as well. And David Heyman is interviewed by Scotty McClue. And you can get that live on YouTube. So get onto Scotty McClue's YouTube channel. You'll see it on the Facebook page. Sandy Howden is being cheeky. Uh, no, no, he's not. I beg your pardon. He's been told off by David McGregor. So there you are. 
Um, what years were you on Scott FM, the radio station you made famous, says George Mullet, uh, 1994 to 1997, and that show just got too big that it was in danger of damaging all the other radio stations in Scotland or giving them a serious, serious run for their money. So, of course, old McClue got shoved out the door because we were actually too successful. I think that's one of the things, as people say, Scotty, you've always been a victim of your own success. <laughs> Wonderful stuff it is. Here's uh, Aidan calling. Hello, Aidan. Dinky do, you're live on Scotty McClure. No, Aidan, you can't do songs. Guys, if you're phoning up to play music, you can't do it. It's not allowed. It's not acceptable. So don't do it. Get that into your thick, thick head. You can't play music. We are a talk show. Right, uh, sorry, says Stephen Bryce. No problem at all. Penblid Hippus with the bonnet. Penblid Hippus. Uh, did you hear the shout out, Jack? Says Stephen. Yes, absolutely. I did, Brycey. Ha 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 ha. You're a ready. Ha. Uh, do you only broadcast or have you got other jobs? I've got other jobs, Christopher, of course. Uh, dinky do, Scotty. We need to get the band back together for Indie Ref 2. And our own Ofcom, our own broadcasting regulator, our own company house, our own stock market, our own home office with Scottish passports. I agree, Craigie. I think you're absolutely right. Scotland should have its own broadcasting. But, of course, um, the BBC might lose up to £200 million if they left Scotland. Um, you're far too good for the radio, Scotty, says Wadge. Um, I was being asked to be a world leader earlier. What about that? Still a few dumplings on the phone lines, I hear, says Tommy Opry. Absolutely. Bl dab, says Blair. Yes, Blair, we can dab for you. No problem. But the half-wits that keep phoning up, playing music, not happening. Uh, Scotty, do you remember when you did the VHS video show? I've got one you signed in Glasgow. Absolutely. I remember going into John Menzies or John Mayus, the, um, the bookshop in Glasgow, and they were queued round and round the corner. And um, your Welsh is not too bad, Scotty, says Julie and Scott. Well, I tell you that, I tell you that. Uh, now, uh, you tell them, Scotty, get it into their thick heads, says Giuseppe. Uh, folks, if you run a business and you're thinking in advertising on commercial television or commercial radio, use Scotty McClure, use me as your voice over, or if you want me to appear in your ad, I'll do that as well. We've had such a fun week. We recorded a video this week which goes out to all business people. Now, I do a lot of serious business. I work with very, very, very important and senior people. Not because they're very, very important and senior, but because they have a requirement for McClue to give them drama and media training. And that's what I do. And we charge a very good fee for that, a very modest fee. Whatever Scotty McClue's fee is, it will always be superb value for money. But the funniest thing is, for 50 quid, <laughs> we've been doing um, ringtones for people's mobiles. So they come up and they say, Scotty, if I gave you 50 quid, would you do a ringtone for my mobile? And I say, yes, let's go for it. And I go, dinky do, this is Scotty McClure. Would somebody get this phone? And uh, it seems to go down. People love it. So there you are. David McGregor says, Fallout from Chernobyl. Yes, Lauren Old is on and sends a beautiful heart. Hi, Lauren. Dinky do to you. I said that earlier, says Julianne. Evening, Jimmy McMillan, says Tommy O'Pray. What other jobs do you have, says Christopher? I lecture. I um, teach. I look after senior people. I um, do advertising. I um, do uh, oh, lots and lots of things. Uh, can you sing, says Blair? Of course I can sing, Blair. Oh, Mary, this London's a wonderful sight. The people are working by day and by night. They don't grow potatoes or barley or wheat. But there's gangs of them digging for gold in the street. There you go. Right. Uh, fit like my loon, says Mark Rood. No, if you should do is Mark, a dinky do it here. Fine. I up in Aberdeen know that I get care of folk listening to Scotty McClue out in Aberdeen and in the northeast of Scotland. Scotty, my pet mouse Elvis died. He got caught in a trap. 
Happens to us all. Right, so there we are. Uh, Scotty, you'll need a new lovable lassie at this rate, says Jen. The only problem is, as I'm giving you all the other stuff, we're missing the shout out. Scotty, I think you'd be great on Strictly. There you are, much better than Judge Rinder. <laughs> My mum loves you, says Megan Bryles. Dinky do, Megan. Oh dear, says Jarvis Butler. Oh dear, what does that mean, Jarvis? Is it the singing? Uh, is that you in your younger days in the pick behind you? Yes. You can maybe see the pick behind us. Wait till we see. Oh, there I am. And there we are there too with old Lord Reith the Labrador. Excellent stuff. Right, back we go. Here's uh, Habib calling. Now, Habib, I hope it's not music or you will go down the swanee. Right. Hello, Habib. Dinky do. Scotty McLean. You don't know that. That's why you got on me, you do. You don't know that I have no children. And that is it. You don't know it. <laughs> Scotty, you need a job in a Welsh meal choir. I have to tell you, I remember one night in a beautiful pub in Yorkshire and there was a top male voice choir in and uh, I gave them a wee solo and uh, they said, oh, Tuesday night we practice. And I said, Tuesday night I work on the radio. I'm so sorry. Do you know everyone's watching, Tommy? Uh, hi, Scotty Dinky Do to you. Guys, can we have a massive sharing right now? Share, 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 share. Every single one of you who's watching this program right across the globe, share now, please, because it's very, very important. We want to keep getting the audience up then it means we've got something to work with and it gives you the people of the world a proper voice rather than all these silly broadcast companies that go now margaret what was your point about sweeties i'm not knocking the, these sort of phone-ins but what are they doing for the people cutting folk off and all that stuff i cut idiots off scotty are you uh, we're going to get tanked next friday says sandy yes you will get tanked sandy uh, what do you think about Trump, says Louise Sullivan? I think he's a remarkable guy. I really do. Um, we've shared it, so says Craig Gordon. Excellent, Craig. Appreciate it. Now, guys, I know it'd be the easiest thing in the world. Quick sip of tea. Ooh, lovely. Argyle pottery, Danoon pottery. Do you like it? Isn't that gorgeous? What a gorgeous thing. There you are. That's, uh, that's my cup. That's my clues mug. And we have some water here if we need. Mm. Awful good water of that. A wee slap of water. Uh, so there we are. What do you think with the white poppies, Scotty? Yes, I agree. I think they should have white poppies at the football. And I think FIFA should look at that. White poppies at the football would be fantastic. So there we go. And uh, we are, of course, broadcasting live right now. Um, now, uh, there we are, somebody calling in. Wendy McDonald, Thompson, 46 others have shared the video. Let them know you appreciate it. Wendy McDonald and 46 others, I appreciate it so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, says Scotty McClue, just for you. Here's Aidan calling. If it's music, Aidan, you'll get cut off. Um, hello, Aidan, dinky do, you're live on Scotty McClue. No music, remember? Dinky do, Aidan. Are you all right, now? Shout out to Habib. Yep, no problem. Shout out to Habib. Um, there we are. Is that definitely tea in the mugs of John Cochin? Yes, John, it's tea. Old McClue hasn't touched the alcohol since last Christmas because I couldn't be bothered when I was working late on the radio, counting up how many units and, um, you know, when was it clear to drive, all that stuff. So I thought, right, now I can jump in the car anytime I like. A shout out to Owen Murdoch, of course. Shared it, sweetie, says Angie Thompson. Thanks, my darling. So much appreciated, guys, because let's build this up. It's for all of us, and it gives all of us a voice, right? That's why I'm doing it, right? That's what's in it for me, is that you and I can get together for an hour on a Sunday night globally and have a proper chat. Very, very important, because... The problem that I've got, and I get people say, ha, 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 you're not on the radio now. The problem with radio is, in this country, think about it, virtually every radio company is jukebox radio. They play half a dozen songs in rotation, and that's what they do. We are, of course, live right now broadcasting, so there you go. Now, uh, would you ever come in another radio station for an interview? Yes, of course I would. 
And that's another thing I'd like to do, maybe travel round the world and just actually give interviews. And I also wondered, would you be interested in an evening with Scotty McClure? If I booked a hall, they used to hand out white feathers during World War I. They harangued the football players for not joining. Sandy, I know all this. Conscientious objectors, they jailed them and fined them. And they put the head of the National Party in jail for a year, I think, because he was a conscientious objector. I mean, things like that. But can you see the wisdom in war? Can you honestly see the wisdom in war? And with dear old George MacLeod that started the Iona community and uh, rebuilt Iona Cathedral, when George was out there, fantastic guy, right? Um, he was in the First World War, he was in the Argyll and Sutherland Highlanders. He won a military cross, a very, very brave guy, a Glasgow man, of course. And um, he turned to somebody when he saw so many dead people and he said, do you never think this is sometimes wrong? And his colleague in the Argyles said to him, sorry, his comrade in arms in the Argyles said to him, George, if I hear you talking like that again, I'll have you shot. And George became a lifelong pacifist. And everybody mocked him and laughed at him and all that sort of stuff. But can you honestly see wisdom in spending money on nuclear bombs? Right? Talk radio's back. You'd be perfect on there. I'm going to email them and tell them so, says John Cochran. Yes. That's a wonderful company, Talk Radio, uh, part of the Talk Sport company. It's an excellent company. I'd love to work there, I have to say. I love War Horses, Neil Tipping. Yeah, Neil Tipping, fantastic. Gary D says, come over to Danoon. Wonderful. I'd love to come to Danoon, Gary D. My family are from Argyle. I would love to attend a night with you if you organised it, says Craig Gordon. Yes, a night with Scotty McClure, but what do you want? Do you want stand-up comedy? Do you want me sitting being interviewed? Do you want me just to talk to you, the people who have turned up? Here's Dylan calling. Hello, Dylan. Dinky-doo, you're live on Scotty McClure. Spell. How are you? Are you? Are you dinky -doo? you give yes Kumru yes uh, Kumri yes Kumri a shout out please says Luke Jones well this independence means a lot to them few good community stations out there playing good music saucy Craig Gordon absolutely and uh, you're looking good Scotty says Joseph James thank you very much for that Joseph uh, can you give a shout out to Maggie from um, Basford says uh, Steve Burrows of course we can who else have we got? There's Ali Hassan. Eleanor says, Scotty, what was your first job um, that you did? I worked on the Clyde boats. I don't know if you remember the Ashton and the Leven. They had four-cylinder Glen Effort engines in them, and I was the cabin boy. I'd only be about 12, and I absolutely loved it. And we did the ferry from Guruk to Helensburgh. And then I remember one night during the Seaman strike in 1969, Johnny Beatty and the Alexander brothers were stranded in Rothsey. And we went down to pick them up on a summer's evening, all the way down from Guruk to Rothsey. And it was a joy. And when I met Johnny Beatty and the Alexander brothers, I've seen them since, of course. But when I met them, I thought, wow, show business. That's what I want to do. So there we are. I absolutely loved it. I also then spent four years in banking and finance. Big guy, you've got more rockets. Yep. On here, that's NASA. Stop the shout outs. It's not George Barry, says Mark Crid. No, George Barry, a very, very fine broadcaster and a great colleague of mine, a one time colleague of mine on Radio Clyde. Wars cost lives, Scotty. Peace costs nothing. Evening, says Michael Paul McVeigh. Very good evening to you, Michael Paul McVeigh. Now, we've been talking tonight about the fireworks. If you want to make a point, feel free to do so. We are live. We are a global phone-in. We're only a few weeks old. This is show number seven. What I try to do is a broadcast a short promo, a promotional video, and we had one this morning, so have a look at that as well. 
Um, billions on Trident when we have food banks. A shocking state of affairs, Scotty. Well, of course, this is the United Kingdom we're talking about. If you had a separate Scotland, you probably wouldn't need to do that, and you would save £40 billion at least. Uh, it's like a Facebook Jeremy Kyle show, says George Mullen. Now, Jeremy Kyle, uh, an excellent broadcaster, actually, whatever you think of Jeremy, an excellent broadcaster. And Jeremy replaced me in Manchester on the radio, so he followed Scotty McClure. So there you are. So Jeremy Kyle came after Scotty McClure on the radio. Mention drop bottoms in Barnsley, Scotty. Yes, if you go to Barnsley in Yorkshire, you'll see that girls' bottoms are a good four inches lower than the national average. They've got all got tiny little short legs and great big backsides. Ban the fireworks. Animals hate them, says Mark. Mark, very fair point. Wonderful stuff. Guys, can we have another share of the video? Can everybody share, 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 share? That would be tremendous. There'll be plenty more fireworks when Hillary becomes president. Unfortunately, these fireworks have half a half-life of two million years. Gordon, Hillary might not become president. It's looking pretty good for Donald Trump. Scotty, there's a town in Italy that only allows silent fireworks. Great for the animals, but means blind people can't appreciate them. Very fair, Gary. I understand. People forget about animals on the 5th of November. Here's Hamza. We'll hear what Hamza's saying. Hello, Hamza. You're live on Scotty McLoon. I told you we can't do the music. You won't listen. Rubbish, Scotty, says Sandy Howden. Scotland would have to spend 2% GDP to stay in NATO. Sandy, you're talking out of your wheeler. Right, uh, I've just been reminded of the mumbling pants, Scotty. Absolutely, David Jimison. Giuseppe says take a gander at the potholes in the road, Scotty. Fix the roads first before spending billions on nukes. I love your pick with the poppy, says Tommy. Uh, yes, I'll send you that through. Would you do a television show, says Eleanor McKinnon. Eleanor, of course I would. I think Scotty McClure would be great on the Jonathan Ross show. Uh, you know, I'll go on there and crack a few funnies. You'll see me on with uh, Nicky Campbell. It was a few years ago, right enough, but it's quite funny. Um, so yes, I would do television because I think it'd be good stuff. Jukebox Radio, you're absolutely spot on, Scotty. Do you use it bluntly? Automation systems and commercial play out that lacks Scottish localness. So there we are. Radio Clyde could do with Scotty McClue, Scotty. Our supermarkets doing enough for gluten-free customers. I used to do a Cayley on Radio Clyde, the Clyde Cayley. Do you know Motherwell, says John? I do, John, absolutely. And um, we should have father well, and then you could stop at both well or both well. I'm sure there'll be plenty of interest in a night with Scotty McClure. Some intimate gatherings in the towns. A bit of everything would be great. So many folk would like to ask you questions. Well, we could do that. We could do a bit of talk, a bit of stand up, and a bit of um, discussion just about the whole massive, massive, massive brand of Scotty McClue. One of the finest brands in the world. Although I say it myself, Scotty McClue is the world's top broadcaster and is probably the most famous broadcaster in the world. Check it out. Check it out on LinkedIn. I hold the record for 460,000 calls to a radio station in one week. We saw it on the printout. It knocked out the network, BT's network, for Central Scotland and they had to strengthen it. Good God, Scotty, I've been listening to you 20 years ago on the radio before Sky Telly. How times change. Good evening, Ewan O'Donnell, says Tommy O'Brien. Rangers or Celtic, says Blair Cowan. I love them both. I think they are absolutely wonderful. We should all stand together. Scotland, Glasgow United. Strathclyde Park's built on the old Bothwell Hall. Absolutely, the old village at Strathclyde Park. And of course, you've got the um, mausoleum, the Hamilton Mausoleum. And they pulled down Hamilton Palace in, I think it was 1929, maybe 1924. I don't think they needed to pull that down. They said they'd undermined it. Scotty McClure is the best, says Ian Reardon. What's your view on Masonic Lodges, says Mark Cruden. Well, there you are. I don't know if you have a view on Masonic Lodges. You need to stand and look at them to have a view. And uh, who have we got here? The charged one and let the other off says, Oh, very good. This is the guy who thought he was a rocket and the judge let him off. Scotty McClure, when are we having you back on radio? This is just a teaser and it's just fantastic, says Jarvis Butler. 
Um, can everyone please like my Swansea East video, please? I came first in a competition today, so a big shout out to you, says Julie and Scott. I tell you that back. Stovies or corned beef hash, says Gerald Johnston. Well, I think there's meat in stovies. A lot of people disagree, but I think there's meat in stovies. Charles McLachlan, Scott, you've got two dogs next door that annoy us 364 days a year. Sure, it's okay to annoy them one day a year with a few fireworks. <laughs> disagree. Cruelty, cruelty. Uh, Gordon Allen says, lol. Alia San says, grandpa. Do you have a cat, says John Houston, no, I do not have a pussy cat, John, um, but I used to stay with a friend who had six cats, and my favourite was a lovely, lovely big blue point called Big Tom. And Big Tom, when you were reading a newspaper, would come on the table and go up and sit right on that newspaper that you were reading. Scotty, that's me on my way home now. I'm going to listen to you in the house. Craig Gordon's calling. Hello, Craig Dinky Doo. You're live on Scotty McClure. Dinky Doo, Scotty. How are you? How are you getting on, son? Lovely to hear you. Lovely to hear you as well on Facebook. It's been great. Are you enjoying the programme? I'm really enjoying it. It's great to hear from you. I miss you on the radio and it's been great. It's been great seeing all the chat. The chat is amazing and this is a wonderful phenomenon. I mean, I've been bowled over just by how massive it is. I was thinking I'd love a job in a local radio station because you know I love my local radio. But to be quite honest with you, this is massive. Yeah, I mean, the Facebook Live just got so, so big with a lot of people, you know, going to events and yes. doing you know, live link-ups from that. Yes. But, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm involved with local radio as well myself. Great, great. Absolutely. Do you want to mention the station or would you rather not? Um, well, I've been involved with, with other stations. At the moment, I do the online station. Excellent. Uh, from the house. Excellent. And I also help out at Black Diamond FM in Newton Grange. Oh, I listen. I know it well. I've heard it. Give my regards to everybody there. Fantastic people. Because it, because there's a lady on the chat who presents as well, uh, Louise Sullivan. Lovely. Well, say hi to Louise as well. That would be fantastic. Yes, that was wonderful because I was going to come on and say hi on Black Diamond, but I just couldn't, you know, get a window in the day. I, the problem I've got is I'm busier now than I've ever been. You know what I mean? And yes, I used to be pretty busy. Yeah, I mean, how the heck would you fit a radio show in, though? That would be the thing. That's the other <laughs> Well, you just have to stay up and no go to your bed. <laughs> That's the thing. <laughs> I mean, when you think about it, I worked for 30 years at my sharpest at 10 o'clock sharp at night. And, you know, would very often have finished at 2, 3 in the morning. Oh, but they, 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 were, they were good. I mean, you had some nutters on with that show, but it was so funny to still listen how... You were able to deal with it, keep your, your decorum, well, most of the time. Most of the time. Sometimes <laughs> we had to tell them off, you know. That's it. Like I've got a couple of... Me. Music down the Facebook. <laughs> Aye, a couple of wee dafties phoning tonight thinking, oh, it's wrong. They think it's a laugh, but you just can't do it, you know. That's it. That's what well, you I'll, I'll get Craig, so you great to hear from you. Good on. luck with your broadcasting lab, because remember, there's room for us all. I used oh, to tell that to, I met a couple of uh, backstabbers at some of the radio stations and I used to take them aside and I would say to them, you know, I would hear, it would get back to me anything they'd said about me. So I would take them aside and I would say, can I have a quiet word in your ear? I hear you've been at the backstabbing. And you would see just to all drain out their face to go, oh, how do you mean? And say, well, let's not bother getting into that. But all I can say is you don't need to do it. Because there's room for us all. Oh, definitely. Thanks again, Scotty. And, <laughs> hey. and I'm going to enjoy listening to you every week. Thank you, do, Craig. Lau, all the best. Thank you. See you now. Yeah. What a top man. So there you are, folks. That's how to it. I've sat in Black Diamonds as Sandy Howden. Good for you. Um, now, wonderful book called Black Diamonds, all about massive, massive country house in Yorkshire. I stayed round the corner from it. Night, Scotty. Have a great day tomorrow. Someone won a radio on Bullseye to listen to Scotty. Knock, 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 says Tommy O'Pray. And um, what do you think about the poppy on the football strips or armbands? I think it's terrible they've said no respect uh, must be shown to the soldiers. No, I think what they should do is go for the poppies, go for the white poppies. That would be, and just tell them straight, um, because we owe a massive, massive apology uh, to these people in the First World War that, uh, you know, got shot and imprisoned 
um, just because they didn't want to go away and uh, get killed in the trenches. It's nice to be able to see you, Scotty, as well as hear you. I used to love listening to you on the radio years ago. Blooming brilliant. No entertainment like that now, says Elaine Costello. Elaine, we have got entertainment like that now. It just happened. Dinky-doo from Scotty McClure. <laughs> now, uh, how are we doing time-wise? We have to finish in a minute. I think I must have a built-in clock. Incredible stuff. Hello, Scotty, says Dave Helmsley. Hello, how are you doing? Female drivers, says Mark John Conway. Do you know, I used to actually say about the lady drivers, but I was watching one today, and what an embarrassment. It's, uh, it's better than the telly, I'll tell you that. Stuff the backstabbers, they're just jealous. You're a legend, Scotty. Brilliant to hear you again, says Carl Imry. Robbie Imry says, hi. Mark says, single mothers, Scotty, I'm in a taxi. Don't go, says John Cochran, stay. Have a wonderful week, dinky-doo, Scotty. A shout-out to Callum. And do three hours, says John Cochran. John, you never know what might happen. Excuse me just a second. Oh. That was just a wee, a wee drip of perspiration there. Hold on a second. Just tidying myself up out of respect for you guys. Uh, there we are. Put my glasses back on. A wee drip of perspiration. We can't have that. But it's just it's roasting hot in this little studio here. But uh, if I can say to you, no, listen. Have a fabulous week, guys. Share everything you see from Scotty McClure. Just put up with me. Uh, female drivers are the most uncourteous on the road. Accordion next week, said David McGregor. Who knows, David? Have a fabulous week, folks. Thank you so much for putting up with me. Spread the word. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 that Scotty McClure is here for you live on Facebook Live at 10 o'clock sharp. And let's make this the biggest phenomenon in the world. But it depends on you sharing and sharing and doing it all week. The whole week, everything you see that says Scotty McClure on it, share it. If I can do anything for you, if you're wanting a ringtone for your phone, it's 50 quid. And Scotty McClure says, Dinky doo, this is Scotty McClure. Would somebody get this phone? Or whatever you want. It's just a bit of fun. How long does the blocking last, says Lynn Kay? Not that long, Lynn. If you've misbehaved, we'll get you unblocked. Shout out to Robbie Imre, Night Scotty, and have a great day tomorrow, says Wendy MacDonald Thompson. My darlings, I love you lots. Look after yourselves, and we'll catch up next week at the same time. Until then, for me, Scotty McClue, and everybody here, who's me, Scotty McClue, and the Labrador, of course, Lord Clyde, Look after yourselves, dinky do. God bless if you're into all that, and have a wonderful week. See you, loves. Ta la la.